Jen, what are you doing on this Fat Tuesday? Just posing with my twin sister. <laughs> Just sure. posing with my twin sister. She wears lingerie, I wear lingerie, and I pose. This is throwing my back out. Here's the thing, we don't feel good enough, most of us women, to do this. So we're going to be here in Haverford at the Hope Chest because we're going to get a lesson in how to look good in your lingerie. Girls can buy it for yourself. By the way, my back really hurts. I can't be posing like that. Hey guys, um, this is an example of something I would actually buy. It's also an example of something that would stay in my closet, in my underwear drawer forever, because I'm not wearing it. So you're gonna help us get ready for Valentine's Day, buying stuff for ourselves. Adorable, might not be too racy, but adorable. We're gonna talk about how to look good in something closer to this, however. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you feel good in your underpants, uh, in your skivvies, stuff like that? A lot of women don't. Uh, Jen's gonna try to help you out here today, Jen. Mike, did he? Did she show you a Wawa T-shirt and Old Navy sweatpants? Yes. <laughs> Yoga pants. Because that's what I'm wearing. They're comfy. For Valentine's Day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're here with Don at Hope Chest in Haverford Square. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. Look, I've said to you, I walk into a store like yours, and I think I can rock this. I'm like, look at this. It's very pretty. It's kind of rock star. You know where this? If I were to buy it. It ends up on a nice little dresser, never to be seen again. Because I don't think I have the confidence, the body, the sex appeal to pull it off. You deal with that every day. Women who just don't believe that they have it to put into one of your get-ups. Right. So let's talk about finding the right garment. <laughs> Instead of going for something sheer and see-through and skimpy and short and exposing everything, Think about wearing something that gives you a little help. It, it, some of the nightgowns that we have have a little support in them, and they're comfortable, and they're sexy. And listen, we talked off camera. I was yes. at the Wing Bowl a week and a half ago, and I said, these girls, they are professional dancers. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to look so mm -hmm, in their outfits, and I'm like, they need some self-tanner. You think that self-tanner, not going to get spray tan, not jogging for 15 minutes before you get into your getup, but those things help, they go a long way. Right, a moisturizer with a little self-tanner will, will really make your skin, and it'll feel good. You'll feel smooth and you'll feel better. All right, so show me one of these things with something you think I could pull off. Okay, well, I know. And by me, I mean and, everyone out there. And I know me. you could pull that off, okay. by the way. Yes, of course. So, <laughs> something with, it's still sexy, it's still beautiful, it's extremely comfortable, and it has a little bit of a built-in support. I agree, that is way hotter than my Wawa t-shirt. Exactly, yeah, it's exactly. Kind of okay, and this kind of thing, even though it looks randy, you say that because it's like a little loosey-goosey, it's a little easier to pull off. Right, right. Now, it, it is sheer, but because it's black and it's not tight and fitted, it, it is complimentary. Okay. It is. It's very cute. We get a little uh, thingy here. Now, this is what I believe in right here. Okay. If you're going to go with something, wrap it up first, right? Because then you can always have an extra exit strategy. No? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I don't want to unwrap it, I can still be cute in this thing. And it's great when you get out of the hot tub. Exactly. It is. Speaking of hot tub, what mm -hmm. the heck are these things? <laughs> I mean, they're adorable. <laughs> I mean, I, seriously, is this what the ski bunnies are wearing? Did I miss that new trend this season? They're from Northern California. Need I say anything else? I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, Mike, yes. yay or nay on these? Oh, they're cute. Yes. No, you know what? I'm going to go <laughs> yes, shockingly, uh, knit underpants. <laughs> yeah, the guys in the live truck like it. I so like it. So coming up in the next hour, mm -hmm. we're going to throw an anti-Valentine's Day party. What if you're just sick of it? We're oh, I'm sick that. of it already. It's only Tuesday. <laughs> I don't want any part of Mike, it. Mike, are you sick of this? I'm not sick of that. Okay. <laughs> I do have time for that. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank, thank you. you